Hey guys, today we are making crock pot buttered cabbage. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Yummy buttered cabbage. Yummy. My camper kitchen. I am Chris from recipes at crock.com. And I'm Mikey from recipes that crock.com. And today we are making crock pot buttered cabbage in our casserole crock. Mm -hmm. We normally make it in a traditional uh, crock pot or our ninja uh, multi cooker, but today the ninja is going to be busy making something else. So yes. we are going to make it in our casserole crock because that's the only cro other crock pot we have with us right we now. We pack light this time. Yes. <laughs> So what we have going on in here, um, just to clarify real quick, you guys might be familiar with our crock pot old fashioned cabbage and this is just a little bit different. This recipe is actually a lot more like our instant pot cabbage, which is like a really buttery cabbage. It's really, really good, y'all. And it's more low carb than the old fashioned cabbage, so that's why we're showing you a crock pot version of that. So what we've got in here is one head one small head of cabbage. So it was just a little guy, but it made tons and tons of cabbage. And we have sliced it into relatively small pieces. Am mm -hmm. I doing a good job of showing it. them? So relatively smaller pieces than what we would do if we were using an electric pressure cooker. In an electric pressure cooker, you need those pieces to be large to handle all the pressure. Um, in the slow cooker, we're cutting them smaller so it doesn't take as long to cook. So if you were going to cook this all day long, you could cut it into bigger pieces, but we've cut it into smaller ones, and this on low will probably take five to six hours. So that's what we're planning for. Um, so we have a head of cabbage in here, and to that, we are, all we're going to do is salt it really well. Now, we're adding chicken broth, which will also add some salt, and so we're not going to salt it like tons and tons and tons. And the thing is, just like anything else, you can season it later if you really want some more yes. flavor than what you got. And so to that, we're going to add some pepper. I like how you do sound effects. Oh, my do. <laughs> and just a stick of butter. Now, before we leave, we're getting ready to go on a hike, and before we leave, I am going to stir this. Um, because uh, because it only has two cups of um, two cups of chicken broth in it, so I want to get more of the cabbage down in the juices, and it'll give time for the butter to melt. So that's why I haven't sliced up the uh, sliced up the butter. If you were going to leave it all day with with not stirring as much, I would probably slice that butter up and put it in different places. But I'm not going to go to any more work than I have to, since I'm going to stir it anyways. So here's two cups of chicken broth and we're just going to pour that over the top. Now the reason why we're not adding tons and tons of chicken broth is because this cabbage is going to cook down and it's also going to uh, produce its own juices and then that butter is also going to create juices. So if we added more um, liquid at this point, then we're going to have just a lot of juices and less cabbage. So. We're just kind of steaming that cabbage and letting it boil. And so what we're going to do is turn this on low and we will be back in five to six hours to show you what it looks like. Or in your case, three, two, one. And welcome back. We are back from our little adventure to the Fossil Gorge and it was really a lot of fun. We got to see lots and lots of fossils. Um, but my cabbage is done. So I've already taken the lid off and done a little bit of a stir. And so you can see the cabbage. You can hear Ollie in the background. They're having, they're eating their dinner out there while my crew's getting ready to have dinner. Um, but here it is, it's just buttered cabbage and you just stir it back up. Like I said before, um, a few hours in, I did give it a nice stir um, to kind of get things back down into the juices. Um, so that's something I recommend, but as you can see now, it has lots of um, extra juices for us to um, scoop out of. So I would use a slotted spoon. I don't know where my slotted spoon is, so I'm going to be using a ladle. Okay, you go with what you've got. But I'm going to take some of this, it's very hot, and put on this plate before I come up here and show you 
Um, I'm going to give it a little taste to see if I need to add some more salt. So let's do this. Mm, I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. And so I'm going to add a little bit more to everything here. So when the family is eating it, we have it. Okay, so I'm going to bring that up to you. So it's just yummy buttered cabbage made in the crock pot. Mmm. Cabbage is one of my favorite sides. It has been since I was a little girl. I love it. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And it's really, really simple. Three ingredients. Um, minus the salt and pepper. Cabbage, butter, and chicken broth. That's all it takes. And it and the crock pot does all the work for you. So tender very delicious if you like this you should really check out our pork chops and cabbage they're also very very good um i love making that too mm. if you like this video we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up if you're not already a member of the crock posse we'd love for you to click subscribe down below become a member of our slow cooking family around here if you would like notified every time we upload a video, click the ding a -ling down below and that will tell YouTube that you want to be notified every time we upload a video. But whatever you do, we hope you laugh I'm off, open. eat good food, and speak life. Bye guys. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.